What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and after a month of waiting, we finally can get our hands on Red Rock Luffy. The Super Evolution is finally here, and I literally could not wait to bring you guys a video talking about this unit and breaking down what he does, and just giving my thoughts and opinions on him, and obviously the animations you guys would have seen at the start of the video, you will see them throughout the video here as well. Dude, <laughs> they went above and beyond with this character's animations. So, Monkey D. Luffy, he's, uh, he was a character that definitely needed a super evolution. Even on release, like, yeah, he had big numbers, but he was a very basic unit. There wasn't really too many things about his kit that were kind of unique. And, to be fair, things really didn't make him that much different with the super evolution. It just made him a little bit more modernized, a little bit easier to use in content, and does provide better buffs overall. So, let's go ahead and break it down. But, in this first clip, I just wanted to touch up on... This clip was, the whole purpose of this was to just showcase how much attack we can get on Luffy. And when I mean attack, I mean base attack. Because of all of the kits and all of the damage increases that you'll see here, Luffy's base attack in this clip exceeds 10,000. And you gotta remember, this is non-boosted content like a Kizuna or a treasure map or anything. So, this is crazy. The fact that you can get over 10,000 base attack... Uh, in in non-boosted content is absurd because in boosted content, of course, he's going to be able to receive up to 20,000 base attack, which is absurd. There's no character in the game that even gets close to that, right, in terms of base attack. So that's just the craziest thing ever, the fact that this unit has all that. And the final tap, of course, giving him a Wano slot that goes through block, obviously is a huge difference too. So let's go ahead and talk about every component of this character. The captain ability of this unit will boost quick free spirit and fighter characters attack by 5.25 times, but then boost their attack by 5.5 times when they have a slot that is not a type slot, referring to, you know, recovery, tandem, Wano, Semla, literally anything that isn't a strength dex, psi, quick, int slot, right? Anything that isn't one of those is going to be fine in terms of receiving the 5.5 times attack boost. He also boosts the chances of landing on the recovery and tandem slots and also makes both recovery and tandem beneficial, which is actually really nice. And then also says that if you tap a perfect on a recovery slot, he enables you to consume that, which is wicked. Um, that can be a bad thing if you receive the buff that makes recovery slots count as negative healing. Uh, this character isn't really the best for that. Obviously, that clip right there, 2.2 billion damage, which with that final tap is just crazy to see. Anyways, uh, Captain Ability doesn't do that much. It's just really strong, right? Just really strong numbers and just a solid captain. But that's the thing, is like, he doesn't really provide that much. But remember, when you do use him as a captain, you get access to his super type special. Now, the super type special is really going to determine whether or not you want to use this guy as a captain. So, in order to use the super type, the condition has actually changed. Previously, it was just one of the straw hats, and that's it. Now, it's one of the straw hats, or you can use Trafalgar Law, Eustace Kid, Yamato, or Momonosuke. So, it's actually a pretty nice addition that you get a lot of other characters to use. Specifically, the addition of Yamato and Law, um, because those two in particular have quite a lot of free spirit units that can synergize pretty well. So, I do like that. The super type special itself also received a, a little bit of a buff. Now it will go ahead and provide minus one cooldown to quick free spirit and fighters, which it did do before. But now it's going to change all type slots on the crew into recovery slots, which is something we hadn't seen before. So he now gets innate orb change with his super type, which is a really neat addition. Remember his captain ability states that you get the much more significant attack boost when you don't have a type slot. So getting those recovery slots is very, very good. On top of that his chain boost that you receive from his super type has also been updated previously it was a 1.0 chain edition now it's a 1.5 chain edition which is the same as baseline legend nami from the new year celebration so that's actually a really neat change so very high uh, damage capacity just from the super type special alone being able to generate matching slots and also giving you a very significant chain multiplier edition boost so when you do opt to use him as a captain, you get access to a pretty bland captain, but great multipliers, and you get a super type special that is actually pretty decent, right? So if you do opt to use him as that captain slot, yeah, you get okay abilities, but you know, there's no crazy utility or, or anything like that. So it is up to your discretion. And look, there are definitely better Luffy legends to be using as captains. So look, I, while the animations for this unit look so good, definitely one of my favorites in the game, 
I just don't see this unit really seeing a lot of play, at least as a captain. This character's special ability is pretty interesting, bringing me some vibes of like V2 Kuzan and V2 Sakazuki with their super evolutions. So let's break down this special. So Luffy's special is going to do 300 times his attack and typeless damage to all enemies, which is a lot of damage. And then he is also going to provide a 3 times attack boost to quick free spirit and fighter characters for one turn, and then boost the top row character's base attack for one turn, based on the number of recovery and tandem slots that you had used with normal attacks before you launched the special. So if you consume up to 12 recovery and tandem slots, you're going to get up to a 2,000 base attack boost to both characters in the top row. That's actually kind of wild. Um, not too many characters can provide a base attack boost just generally, but this one being able to provide up to 2,000 is like the second best in the game. The only character that can get a higher base attack boost to my knowledge is, I think, um, versus Kaido, I think with his final tap technically, right? But also um, the Legend Nami from New Year's. Technically, if you get her fully charged special, she can also give you a better base attack boost. But up to 2,000, you have to consume 12 recovery or tandem slots, which is pretty difficult to do, at least in short form content. But then we also have the ability stating that if you have an attack boost launch when you launch the special, you actually get a 2.75 times orb boost for those types and classes as well. So that's pretty cool. But then here's where the Kuzan and Sakazuki mechanic comes in, where it says that if you have consumed 16 or more recovery and tandem slots before you launch the special, it gives this character minus 12 cooldown. This character naturally will have 13 cooldown with limit break expansion. He does go to uh, 12 turns. So that's honestly really good. It means that you're able to essentially fully charge this character um, if you consume the 16 recovery or tandem slots. So I think overall, this is a really strong character, at least as a special. And in long form content, if you're able to fully charge it, being able to use this special twice in the same turn for a huge attack boost and a huge orb boost, and obviously you get the base attack boost for the captains, you can see how this can kind of work in your favor. And then you've got the super type on top of that, which can provide cooldown and the huge chain multiplier buff. You can see how this is pretty strong, right? This character across the board is very bland, very basic, but the effects that you get out of it are just generically good. And then to wrap things up, let's talk about this character's final tap. Now remember, this was the first final tap character in the game, so the mechanics that you see from these first couple of final tap units, like like Luffy, Lauren, Kid, yeah, they're not amazing. But this character's one was kind of interesting and actually did receive a buff with the brand new Super Evolution. So at final tap level five, this character gives himself a guaranteed Wano slot that goes through block slots, which actually was the same as before. But now it's also going to provide a 2,500 base attack boost. Now you gotta remember, you're already stacking like up potentially 2,000 base attack with his special, and then you get a 2,500 base attack bonus. And remember that this is one of the characters in the game that can utilize the support rev recruit Sabo, which multiplies your base attack by 1.5 times. So yeah, the base attack boosts are getting kind of funky. And if you're stacking, you know, your attack boosts, your orb boosts, uh, Wano slot from his final tap as well. Uh, and also, you know, if you have type advantage, it also adds a lot of damage and you can have conditional boosts. And you can see how if you stack everything in the right way, that this character is going to be one of the hardest hitting units in the game. So while yes, he does have some high damage output, he looks fantastic aesthetically. I, I, just the rest of his kit is just kind of bland, like there's no utility or any gimmick removal, he's just giving you raw power, which is not a bad thing, you definitely need those types of units in your box for sure, but if we're looking at it in the grand scheme of things across all Sugo Fest exclusives in the game, this is probably not a character that you really need to worry about fully investing, limit break expansion and all that. Definitely will be a nice unit to own for sure and whenever he's boosted in content he's going to be a fantastic unit to have. But unfortunately not one of the best units in the game, but at least he has one of the best special animations in the game, absolutely no doubt. So that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.
よそ者がこの国守っちゃいけねえのか